Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on outside the lane before the big Leicester game. Very exciting, but more excited about the fact I've got Smithy from Soccer AM Hello, with mate. me. How are you, mate? Finally, we get to go on Spurred on. It's been a while, hasn't it? That's what you've been living for. I don't you doubt are. that, Smithy. Not everyone knows you're a huge Spurs fan, aren't you? I am, mate. Yeah, I had a season ticket for many years. Massive Spurs fan since as long as I can remember. Um, yeah, love the Spurs. Love coming to White Hart Lane. A massive game tonight as well. Huge game, but you know it's been a, it's been a brilliant season for Spurs so far. It feels weird being a Spurs fan, being able to say that two losses only in the Premier League this way through. You know what have you what have you felt have been the the reasons behind such a great start to this season? The reasons, but yeah, I mean the, the first thing I'll say is I'm a, a really Spurs fan. I'm trying to get too excited in January because I've done it before and I've ended up looking like a right melon with all my mates who don't support Spurs. But I will say I do feel very quietly confident about this season. Main reason, I honestly think, has been Pochettino. I think the way that he's transformed this team around. Gary Neville did a great bit of analysis on Monday Night Football a few months ago, and he looks about the work rate of Tottenham, and that was a word that you could never associate with Spurs. We've always had quality technical players. We've never had that work rate, grit, determination. We've got an abundance now. We've got players that work their nuts off. Can I say that on this channel? You just yeah, did. okay. They can work their nuts off of the team, and I love that. I love a bit of desire. I love Deli Ali, love Harry Kane. Also, Toby Adderfield, one of the most underrated centre backs in the Premier League. Love the man. Yeah. I'd have his children. I wouldn't have his children. Don't put that on. But I do love him. And yeah, looking forward to it, mate. I think is it is it a little bit that you know you kind of alluded to? It, I think before we've had the odd world class players pulled us out of the hole, but this is all about a team and the spine of the team, especially. Yeah, massively. I mean, we've always had quality. Pl I mean, even when we were dreadful, you know, we had David Ginola, then we had Jurgen Klinsmann, we had the Teddies. I mean, Gareth Bale, we've always had quality players. I just think we've now, as you say, the spine, Lloris, world-class keeper. Vertonghen stepped up massively as well. We've got, you know, Deli Ali Kane. I do think we need cover for up front. Yeah. I do think there's a lot of pressure on Harry Kane. And we've got about a thousand games coming up with the replays and the Europa Leagues and the league games. So I'd like to see us pull out the bag and get, get some cover for Harry Kane. But yeah, I, I, I am quietly confident that we might break into the top four this year. All right, and uh, I'm very confident we're breaking the top four this year. He's gone from quietly confident to very confident oh, yeah. within a space of two minutes. That's incredible. I'll do uh, that, though. I'm, I'm quite random like that. I do get excited about the most strangest of things. But Okay, well, yeah. well, better we speak to you before the game than after, maybe. Who knows? But let, <laughs> yeah. let's talk about the Leicester game. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's the first of a threesome now of Leicester yeah. games with the replay. Uh, what are you, you know, what are your instincts? What, how, what's your hunch about tonight? Well, mate, I love Leicester, but I mean, how many times do we want to play Leicester in the space of a week? I mean, you know. They're a great team. I thought we, I thought we got very lucky on the replay. I, I really did. Um, I think we should be looking to win tonight. And it's, it's a big night as well because Liverpool are at Arsenal, City are at, City are playing Everton. Uh, Everton. There's a lot of big teams playing each other. We get a win tonight, and it's it's wide open. So, yeah, I, I, I'm 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 going two one. Yeah. But we, we do need to keep Vardy quiet. He he, he does worry me a little bit. Yeah, and Mares quality Mahrez quality. Mares quality. Kante. They've got some good players, mate, and they've got some. Big players as well. I mean, they're a team I wouldn't want to play against. A lot of their players scare me. I mean, just physically looking at them, they scare me. Um, they've got some big lads, and it's like we've got to be on our game tonight. But I, I'm quietly confident we'll sneak a 2 1. Yeah, totally. I've said it a few times. I think if we keep a clean sheet, if we can, we'll win this game. We will nudge one. Smithy, thank you so much for coming with me. Really appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Big up Spurred on the greatest online YouTube channel talking about Spurs featuring Barnaby on YouTube. Absolutely right. And check out the Soccer AM YouTube show, You What, as well with Smithy. Where can they find that? You can find that on Soccer AM's YouTube channel. We've got You What, we've got 11, we've got loads of new features. We've got some great features, actually, including one coming up with Eric Lamella, which is class. You don't want to miss that. So click the subscribe button on Soccer AM's YouTube channel. And up the Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Up the Spurs and hit the subscribe channel on Spurred On as well. Well done, guys. Cheers, Smithy. Cheers.